Hello everyone, this is Sulky, and in today's video we are going to do a deep dive into what is to come between 2.3 and 2.5, including all major leaks as well as the speculation and debunking some of the things that people said were actually in the game. So this means that we're going to be going over Albedo's return in 2.3, the Dragon Spine event, Shenye and Yunjin, as well as Xiao and Ganyu for the Lantern right festival in Liyue as well as Yai Miko getting her own banner in 2.5. So if you're excited for what is to come in Genshin Impact in the upcoming months, hit the like button and let's get started with 2.3. And we'll talk about Ido and Goro in a bit, but we know that they're confirmed so let's focus on what's not confirmed. So between Hu Tao's banner and Ido's banner, we do have the first banner of 2.3 and have no idea who is coming, but based on the leaked event for 2.3, we can definitely make an educated guess as to who it is. That's right, Albedo. So let's talk about why I think that Albedo is going to be the banner by diving in to this Dragon Spine event that we are going to get. Now, this is going to be a return to Dragon Spine from last year's event featuring Albedo and the sword that we could get as a reward for completing the event. Now, this event is called Dust and Shadowed Snow, and anything that I'm saying now has the possibility to change, I'm assuming, if it's is going to change. It's going to be just slight little tweaks to it. But right now, this is the information that we have. And the special reward for this event is the Sinbar Spindle, which is a four star sword. So very, very similar to the last Dragon Spine event. Throughout this event, you can use the shop to get the refined materials that you need for this sword. And basically, what you're going to be doing in it is getting Snow Strider seals and boss seals from the sub events. So it looks like right now there's three the first one is Born of Snow, where you're going to be constructing snowmen that you can actually bring on over into your teapot as decoration. As you can see here, you'll be collecting various snowmen components. Now, besides that, there's also going to be a training event, which I'm assuming will include a lot of fighting. There's agility training, tracker training, and combat training, as well as a boss fight where you're going to be facing off against a giant cryo Whopper Flower. In order to take place in the event, you need to be AR20 and complete for tomorrow without tears, as well as the Traveler Observation Report Quest. So with all that said, I mean, the info's all there. It is really, really looking likely that this is going to be Albedo, but it is not confirmed. MiHoYo has not said anything about this yet. Now moving on to the later portion of 2.3, we already know that Ido is going to be the five-star character along with Goro, who's going to be the four star character. Now 2.3 as a whole is a really good time for people who love Geo because we are getting three Geo characters, potentially. Things that have been leaked about the 2.3 update are first two new artifact sets. One's gonna be for Ito, the other one is going to be for Kokomi. You can learn more about them. I'll leave links in the description below for you. Now there's also going to be a 2.3 three event featuring a warrior dog that has possible rewards including primos, exp materials, mora, and boss mats. It looks like you are going to have to complete part of the Inazuma quest, the immovable god, and the eternal euthymia in order to unlock this event. Now the dog is actually going to become an animal furnishing reward for completing this event. So you'll be able to put them in your teapot. Now the last new event coming with 2.3 is going to revolve around a golden wolf lord, the king of the rift wolves. Now we saw the introduction to this new enemy during the 2.2 update and they are a pain to face and it looks like we are going to go up against potentially the strongest of the wolves. Don't really have much information about this event other than it's going to feature this new boss. Other than that, it does look like we are going to get new story quests for Goro and Beidou 
in the 2.3 update. And there is some kind of leak of a new character, which I'm assuming is Goro's mother, considering their similarities. I don't know if she is planned to be a playable character in the future or what, but this image was leaked. So we do have that to look forward to in 2.3. So basically to sum it up, new Dragon Spine event, potential Albedo return, new story quests, and a bunch of new events for 2.3 in Inazuma and Dragonspine. Now let's move on to 2.4 because I feel like this is going to be the biggest update of them all, specifically because it is going to fall in Chinese New Year. Now 2.4, if everything continues to go the way it has been going with MiHoYo and their banners and update times, it's looking like 2.4 will start on January 5th. But either way, it's going to start in the beginning of January and that's going to set us up for Chinese New Year and potentially Essentially, the return of the Lantern Rite Festival. Now, this event happened last year. Obviously, this is going to be centered on Liyue, which makes sense because Liyue represents China. So it's going to be a very, very big update. It's probably going to have the Lantern Rite as its main event, and it's going to feature some new characters, including Shenye and Yin Zhen. Now, there are voice files about these two. And basically, what we know about Shenye is that they're pretty ferocious. Cloud Retainer had actually told Ganyu about how when Shenye's temper gets out of hand, she has the potential to destroy things around her. People have actually speculated that this is Cloud Retainer, but it seems a little unlikely that it is. Hu Tao seems to really like her though, calling her pure and pristine, but these are basically the characters that are going to have voice lines about her. Now, if we go to Xiao, we can see that the voice line is there, but it's locked and will probably unlock in 2.4 when we do return to Liyue. Now, same goes for Yun Jin. Some of the characters do have voice lines about her, and it seems that the most well-known thing about Yun Jin is that she's some kind of opera singer. Now, what does all of this mean for the banner? Well, there's high speculation that Shenye is going to be a five-star character and featured in a banner along with Yun Jin as a four-star. But what does that mean for reruns of Liyue characters? Well, we do have Xiao and Ganyu who are due for their rerun. This would obviously be a really good time to rerun one of those. And people are thinking that Xiao will actually be the one who gets the rerun in 2.4. Just because of his involvement with the Lantern Rite Festival from last year, just makes sense that they would do that. Now, the other route Mihoyo could potentially take is releasing three banners within the 2.4 update, which would be very overwhelming and include maybe Shenye, Yunjin, Xiao, and Ganyu. If that's not the case, then it's speculated that Ganyu will return in 2.5. But before we get into 2.5 and what's to come there, let's first go over one more thing that could potentially happen in 2.4. And that is opening up the map to the chasm. It's a perfect time to do it. We're in Liyue already for this event. Did come up as a location on the map. And right now it's kind of this mysterious thing where we haven't really stepped foot there since child story quest and it would be interesting to return to it now this is a good segue in to 2.5 because people have speculated that potentially and this is a spoiler if you haven't completed a labyrinth warriors event so cover your ears if you haven't done that yet and heard the story quest there but people are thinking that scaramouche is hanging out there and avoiding the Fatui. Now, just take that with a huge bag of salt. That could totally not be the case. But the reason that I'm saying that this is a good segue is because we will probably return to Inazuma in 2.5. Now, why do I think that? Well, let's first talk about something that's actually in the game right now. And that is if you go to the bulletin boards, you can hear about a big event that Yai Miko is planning. We know from Ayaka that Yai likes to plan big events, but this one is saying that one is in the works right now. And because we for some reason have not gotten a Yai Miko banner yet, as we're going to start wrapping up Inazuma and focusing on Sumeru. If we are to assume that 2.5 
5 is going to feature Yaimiko at some point. Maybe the second half of the banner if they do decide to put Ganyu in 2.5 with her. I'm assuming Ganyu is going to come first and then Yai so we can have that clean transition between Liyue and Inazuma. But let's talk about this. So 2.5 is expected to begin mid-February, let's say February 16th, and it will extend until the end of March, let's say March 29th, if they follow what they've been doing with their updates. Now this would mean that Yai could potentially be throwing some kind of cherry blossom festival. It's the start of spring. This is huge in Japan. As we all know, Inazuma represents Japan. This would be a really great time to bring this all together and have Yai Miko do some kind of cherry blossom event. And that way there's relevance with her banner coming up and we can see some kind of continuity with the bulletin board and what it was saying about her throwing an event. Now Yai is expected to be a playable character in the game, in the code. She's written differently from characters like Senora, who is identified as a monster. Yai is a catalyst. Now this could of course change, but I want to throw something out there and that is from the Narakami weapon banner leak from a really long time ago. Now this item right here was expected to be part of the Narakami series. It is a catalyst and what's interesting about it and why it could potentially be Yai's weapon is because it resembles a real life Miko Bell. So they would kind of fit really, really well together. Other speculation about Yai as a fighter is that people have said that she's supposed to align with Ganyu in terms of being a DPS and will also be the ceiling for Electro. A lot of people complain about how Electro needs some more love, so Yai could potentially change the game here, but it really isn't confirmed up to this point. The only other bit of information that we got recently is that one of the leakers had confirmed that Yai's kits for stages were done, meaning that Mihoyo knows what her E and Q abilities are going to be, but that's about it. I don't know how true that actually is, but I always appreciate a Yai Miko update. So with all of that said, Ganyu could be coming with Yai just to finish off all of the Liyue quests and events, and then we go back to Inazuma. She could also be put with Yai because they're supposed to be on par with each other, and Mihoyo is probably going to try and maximize their profits there after the Chinese New Year, but it does seem really, really likely that Yai should be coming in 2.5 because she's literally the only one who hasn't gotten a banner yet and she's one of the most important characters in Inazuma's story. It would be really cool to see some kind of continuation with Scaramouche as well. We left off with the Labyrinth Warriors event with a big mystery about him so it'd be cool if we can kind of see his return in these upcoming events. Maybe we see him in Inazuma in 2.5 but yeah so that basically covers it for all of of the factual leaks that are coming out as well as the speculation and educated guesses but I hope that you found this helpful as more information starts to come out about these events it probably won't be too long from now when we start to approach the end of Hu Tao's banner we'll probably learn way more about 2.3 and potentially 2.4 but as of right now that's all we have if you enjoyed this video found it helpful please 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 hit that like button and comment down below what you are most excited excited for in the future of Genshin Impact. I would love to hear from you. Until next time.